Hello, I'm Soraida, the creator of Vedaism. Vedaism is a hard edge abstraction with written social commentaries. I created Vedaism in 1992 to raise awareness on racism, sexism, and stereotyping. Today, I'm going to give you a virtual tour of the Vedaism Art Gallery, teaching tolerance through Vedaism art. Welcome to a virtual tour of the Vedaism Art Gallery. I'm going to take you around and read some of the titles of the paintings and explain some of the commentaries. I'm going to start off with this one, which is about Atlantic City, the arts, and systemic racism. Um, the first painting here, which is uh, the Jazz Musicians of Atlantic City, Modern Colonialism, Money, is actually about a painting that I did when I was a teenager. I, I would go to Atlantic City with some friends to listen to the jazz musicians. And uh, one time one of the jazz musicians told me that they were so excited that the uh, casinos were going to move in there and they were finally going to be able to make some money. But what happened is when the casinos moved in, they actually just did away with the whole culture of the jazz musicians in Atlantic City. Uh, the next one here is, uh, is, is called the Battle of the Rice and Beans. Um, this is about Latinos. What we have in common is that we all speak uh, the Spanish language and also a lot of us eat rice and beans. Uh, but the painting is about the fact that a lot of Latinos discriminate against each other. And I feel that, that in order for us to uh, make social change, we have to all unite because we're all lumped into one group and there's a lot of discrimination against us to begin with. And we need to make social change and the only way we're gonna gain some power is by actually uniting. Moving on to this painting here, which is called the La Latina. And the painting is actually about when I started to paint in 1992, my Vedaism. Uh, a lot of Latinas were so happy that I was bringing up a lot of issues uh, that needed to be uh, brought up in the society. So they were happy that I was speaking out. And I, you know, painted this, it depicts the, the actual aura of the Latina that I, you know, that I came across. Now this one here is called uh, Women Working Together. And it's actually about women uh, being negative towards each other. I painted this in 1995. And I feel that we have a lot of power because we're nurturers and as nurturers we have uh, children and we can change a lot of minds because it, we can teach tolerance and we could teach kids how not to be racist. So w as women we can actually say, change a whole society. Here we are uh, go, going on to this one here which is called, uh, the title of this one is between two islands. Uh, the painting is about me. When I was a little girl, I was born in New York City. And then uh, I, I was, people thought of me as a foreigner. So I thought that when I go to Puerto Rico that I felt that they were gonna accept me, but they didn't. So I was like between these two cultures and it's actually the, an immigrant experience. And it's a, a universal experience of people moving from one area to another and being between these two cultures that really don't accept you, accept you because you're not like them totally. Now, the other painting here <coughs> is a little girl from Harlem. And I painted about uh, the fact that I was born in, in Harlem and lived there until I was like 14 years old. Uh, I had good times and, and, and sad times. Uh, I always wanted to be an artist and I was all, also wanted to be able to express myself through the arts. Now these two other paintings here, I painted in 1992 and I painted it to bring it out to the school system. 
um, to the classroom and actually raise awareness on racism. And I wanted to bring, uh, bring it out to have a conversation with the kids, mostly like in the second, third, and fourth graders uh, about racism. A lot of educators, uh, they were very uh, positive towards it because of the fact they felt that it was a good thing to do that. And <clears throat> I'm going to read some of the titles uh, of the, this first title, which is called Please Don't Be Prejudiced in My Presence. And this painting is about when I was a teenager um, in South Jersey. Um, uh, we would be, I would be with some of the, uh, my friends and we would be, you know, having fun. And uh, occasionally they would forget and they would say something racist. Uh, something about Puerto Ricans and forgot that I was Puerto Rican. So that's why I titled this, entitled this, uh, Don't Be Prejudiced in My Presence. The other painting here is uh, what prejudice looks like and embodies what I think a prejudiced person looks like. In fact, it's an imbalanced feeling. And kids uh, know the visual language, so they, they get it right away when they see a painting like this. And it's friendly, and it's also encouraging to, to have a, uh, it's encouraging to have a conversation uh, about, about racism, and they feel very uh, um, non-threatened to do this. The, uh, the other painting here is called uh, Interracial Family, The Way Society Sees It. And when, I, when we moved into South Jersey, my mother is a white Puerto Rican, and then my stepfather was a black Puerto Rican. So this depicts what actually what I felt that people were looking at because we, when we would walk into places, people would look at us very strangely. They were not used to seeing people like us. So this is what this painting depicts. Puerto Rican stereotype, the way you see me without looking at me, is a painting about stereotyping. There's a lot of stereotyping in the United States. And um, this, this is actually uh, about false, false information that was given me uh, throughout the years, in, like in corporate America. They actually, some people actually told me that they never even met a Puerto Rican woman. So, I had like some funny information given to me by somebody that told me that they thought that Puerto Rican women never shaved their legs. So it's a satirical painting and it's very powerful. Um, so people actually can get the fact that what I'm talking about when you're stereotyping somebody and have a preconceived idea is not really that cool to do that. The other uh, painting here that I have is um, speaking to the label kids. I'm totally against labels because in, when you label somebody, uh, especially like if when you label a person minority, um, I ask, ask kids, what do you think minority means? And, and some of the kids actually said, well, that means we're less, we're less of. So, uh, when you label somebody, you actually, especially kids, you 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 it's toxic to their minds. Um, you you you're doing some damage when you're labeling. And the school system has a lot of labels where they label kids the fast learners, the slow learners, and the minority kids. So I'm totally uh, for like doing away with labels. Uh, the uh, the next one here I have is called <laughs> Living My Truth and Dyson. And it's actually about living uh, my truth and painting against racism, sexism, and stereotyping. I felt that sometimes when I took out my artwork into like uh, uh, academia or uh, universities and colleges where I felt that I made a difference. It's, and, with my message of uh, tolerance. And then at other times I felt like I didn't make a difference. But the one thing that I liked is the fact that I did live my truth and it made me feel good. In the long run, living your truth is all what it is about, you know. 
It makes you feel better about yourself. Now, this painting here is uh, <clears throat> a painting about Puerto Rico, and I painted it in 1996. I felt that Puerto Rico really never had a future way back then, and I feel the same way now. Uh, doesn't, you know, we're like, you know, there's a lot of problems there. The, uh, I'm going to read the commentary about this one because it's such a small commentary, short. The weeping Puerto Rican cuatro player. We all know Puerto Rico has an uncertain future. The weeping Puerto Rican cuatro player is weeping because of the uncertainty of the future of the island of Puerto Rico, 1996. And Definitely uh, Puerto Rico is having a lot of problems right now. The last painting here is about health care in the United States and it's entitled America so sophisticated and yet so primitive when it comes to giving our people medical care. And I feel that medical care should be a human right. I think anybody should have uh, medical care. And I feel that we all need to change this. And it's the only thing to do what, if you want to be a, a sophisticated society. Now, I thank you for taking the visual tour of the Vedasm Gallery.